Hello, good evening. I'm here again with an unboxing. I just prepared a little bit and some final updates from me. It's uh, Tuesday, late in the evening, 11th of June, and uh, I received this package of last week. I uh, got some records from Discogs and I want to show them to you. It's another uh, addition to my Tone Float collection. Let's see if I can open this up carefully. Just, uh, just uh, bought a 7 inch and uh, two 12 inches, two albums. The first one uh, is the use of ashes, and it's a uh, flake of eternity white ring. I'm correct, there are 12 different fronts from the single. I have one of them. It's, uh, yes, it says number. number no, this is a zero of 12 copies. And this is a tone float. And I think a right, limited edition of 144 copies and 12 different sleeves. It's number uh, 95A. So a tone float, another of my collection from the 100s. I want to collect side A and side B. So the use of ashes in band of uh, Nijmegen. If you're interested in more music of use of ashes, watch my other videos. Very nice cover. They caught in from Tone Float. This was the first one. The second one I have here is uh, the Mercy Giants Steel Dungeons Mighty Foes. front, the back. Here's the so here inside. But there's also a CD. Comes with this issue release. The original inner from Tom Float with I think a transparent vinyl. Yes, I'm correct. Side A. Side B, the Mercy Giants. The last one I bought is March. I also had this on. It's nicely packaged. It says limited edition this the front of the album the back side the songs don't know much about this uh, band must have played a CD once but I have to listen carefully again. This one black, this black final. Side A. And the side B. So that was the things I bought on the internet. It's also in. Also on a CD, it is sealed. Nice. Never played by the former owner. And then the next band is a Japanese band. 
I went to the concert more, a little bit more than two weeks ago in Naime Kikagaku Moyo. I don't know if you ever heard about it, then, but if you like psychedelic rock, it's nice. It was a very nice concert. Um, and uh, I bought four records, um, also because of the Japanese pressing. But it's not the Japanese because I think the label is uh, stationed in Holland. Most of the labels, the albums. Um, so I start with the first album. It's uh, Kikaga, Kikagaku Moyo. It's the band, and the first album is called the same. So you see here the Obi. Lecture is not in the way. This is on black vinyl. This is a reissue. The official uh, release date was 2013, and this is a reissue from 2018. Hope you can see it. The albums are still sealed. So, very nice Japanese rock. First album. Second album I don't have is Mamatu's Clouds. Uh, I don't have that. I have the next one. It's the, um, the Forest of the Lost Children. I listen to that this one a lot. This is a card final. Also reissue. Very nice album. They played some songs on it live and I liked it very much. From Craig to the drummer and the guitar player are the members who make the most of the music. Very nice. The next one is the, the Tall Grass, also on black vinyl. All the albums are uh, on cult vinyl and on Discogs they are very expensive. So happy that I bought this one at the concert. Also with the Obi. This is the back side. The last album is an album from 2018. This one, excuse me, is from 2016. The last one is from 2018. And this is a reissue from 2019. Um, the albums were from the Guru Guru Brain label. But except, except this one. I'll show you to you. It's from Beyond. Beyond is Beyond Records. This is, this is the Forces Lost Children. The other three are from the Guru Guru Brain label, and uh, I, if I'm not correct, it's situated in Amsterdam. So also this is on black vinyl, very nice color cover art, colorful. The other ones are more in black and white. The newest one, I listened to it, all this album also, very nice music. So if you're into um, nice Japanese music, listen to Kika Raku Moya. Thank you for watching and maybe until the next time. Bye bye.